We are here at Fleur at the Mandalay Bay. I'm Hubert Keller. I'm the chef and owner of the restaurant and also uh, the, the chef who created the Fleur Burger 5000. And it's going to be exciting. I will show you why it's $5,000. And I think you hear it well. We do selling that burger for $5,000, but it's all worth it. And I can show you it's actually a deal. Here are some of the ingredients that really are going into the Fleur Burger. We're having a foie gras liver, which is actually a duck liver. And just by itself, right, by the pound that goes already over 50 to $60 a pound of foie gras. We're having the, the black truffles, which we consider in France like a miracle because they do cost also about $1,500 when we're working with those truffles a pound. And they are unique. They cannot be reproduced. They only grow in Southwest from France, the ones who really have the flavor. And of course, we have a Kobe beef right over here and it's one of the best beef that you can have as well. So imagine when we're putting all that together and I'm gonna cook it off and we're pairing it with probably the best pairing, the best uh, Bordeaux uh, Petrus, uh, which normally we do sell it at the restaurant. We sell it for over $5,000 on the menu. So I reduced it down to $5,000 and guess what? The burger actually comes for free. So here we go. We're gonna start on cooking those burgers. We, we season it, we sear it off nicely. We're gonna get the pan going, a little bit of oil, and we make sure that really gets really nice and hot. So now I'm gonna lower the burgers into the pan. All right. Once that's going, I'm adding just a little piece of butter. I'm gonna put a little bit piece of butter on top. The time the burger is going on a medium, medium high heat. So now that the burger is really going, let me grab the foie gras. And you believe it or not, that's a whole liver from a duck, so it's actually amazing. So I'm just gonna crack it, you see, I can separate it, the foie gras into two. I'm gonna start on slicing. And that's like basically like slicing into butter. But before searing it, I'm gonna season it the same way. A little salt, a little pepper on both sides. All right. My burgers are doing really, really well here. So now I'm gonna start on flipping them over. So here we go. So now you see that, you see that nice sear that I'm having here? We do the same thing. We're gonna lower the heat. Of course you wanna Baste them a little bit as well as they go. You just want to make sure you baste them to keep them nice and moist. And I will get my pan ready for the foie gras. So foie gras can be intimidating when you're cooking it because it is a very expensive product. But really, once you buy foie gras, you will see you just pan fry it like you would pan fry a steak or a piece of fish. It's that easy. You will see as soon as I put the foie gras down, the foie gras actually will start on melting by itself. So, and you don't need a non-stick pan by itself. I have one here, but even if you use a regular pan, it works as well. So now we have the foie gras going, burger is going. I'm gonna get ready with my truffles. I'm just gonna, you see how nice and beautiful that is. All right, so now we have the burgers, we have the foie gras. Now I'm gonna take out the foie gras and let it rest a little bit. So now I'm actually reusing that fat from the foie gras that has melted and I will put my truffles inside. Here we go. So you're just gonna season them a little bit and that's it to the truffles. They are ready, my burgers are ready, so now I'm gonna Take off those burgers, put them down here. Here I have a little bit of truffle sauce. So that's of course, it's a whole process that takes about two and a half days just to make those, to reduce it, to get the flavors. But what it is, it's some veal stock, it's some truffles again. We have some port wine, we have some cognac in there, all the good stuff. The bun is also, of course, it's a homemade, has a little bit of truffle in it, has a little bit of red wine shallots in it. So once you bite in that bun, it's also paired with the best bun you can imagine. So I will put a little bit of lettuce down here. 
I like to put the, just a little bit lettuce. It sounds so basic and so simple, but the lettuce avoids the juices from the burger to go into the bun, so everything stays in that, in that burger. So that's the reason why I'm setting it up that way. I'm gonna take a nice heirloom tomato. And everything really goes on that burger it has to have a lots of flavors and true flavors, right? So now I'm gonna take the burger the foie gras, so we put the truffles on here. We have some of the sauce here, so I will now sprinkle some of that sauce over it. I'm gonna touch it up with a little bit of fleur de sel. That's the ultimate salt, sea salt, that you can actually taste and it's gonna crack a little bit under your feet on your bite into the burger. Of course, we, we're gonna put the lid over here on the burger. When we're serving that, I'm having here another presentation that comes all together with the burger. You get some extra of that sauce. So here we have it. It's the Fleur Burger 5000 with the Petrus served with it in 1995 and all the goodies with the foie gras, the Kobe beef and the truffle sauce. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're going to try it at home probably. And if no, come see me at Fleur right here in Manalabe in Las Vegas.